And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, from RTX. Um, this is going to be the reaction video to Red vs. Blue Season 14, Episode 9, Club. This is the one that Miles made a post about saying it was going to be on a whole other level. This actually came out a while ago for me. I've heard a lot about it from when I was at RTX, but I haven't seen it due to computer issues. And recently I got a new program to help me with the audio. So now I'm, I'm now using something called Soundflower. So please let me know if the audio was any better, if it's if I'm too quiet, if the video is too loud, anything like that. But this is apparently a mercenary arc. I'm really excited and I have some things to say after off to a great start. After the video about RTX and about what's gonna be going on with the channel. So here we go. I'm sorry for that teaser, by the way. That was rude, but I needed something to put up. So oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Very serious question, dude. If you could go back in time, would you kill Hitler? Right think... now, you're thinking, well, duh, absolutely. That guy was kind of a dick, dude. But I what think Vic's introductions are just, just the best part. Kid, when all he wanted to do was go to art school and paint pictures of dogs. You think you could still do it? Murder him in cold blood next to the oil paintings and the schnauzers? Point I'm trying to make is... Not everyone starts off evil, Ooh. dude. People change over time. Sometimes oh for better. And sometimes, well. Ooh, now I'm. This is some transistor bullshit. And my video is choppy, I hate life. Is it just not loaded enough? No, it's loaded. My computer's just a dick. Good to know. My computer is a dick. Ooh. It's a lot of people who are not silhouetted. Well, that, this is very Borderlands-y. Ooh. Ah yes, the woman in heels. No idea who you are. What a douchebag. Ooh, black and white. Ooh, that was cool. This is this is just very Borderlands. It has that very Borderlands feel. I don't know if it's the way that it's somewhat the self shading or just the way it's animated or something about it, but I'm like flashing back to Telltale Games. Tales from the Borderlands because I was just playing that this morning. Who was that, Locus? Oh, there was a hand on his ass. Good to know. Oh boy. <laughs> I know that there's something to do with eye reflections and flickering, but because of something I heard one of the animators say. Alright, there's a shocking lack of speaking that has me concerned okay now that just looks really cool that just looks really cool oh is it it <laughs> i hate you he's here blonde bisexual bridesmaid an escort. Four of his father's men and a civilian woman, plus whoever's with him upstairs. That is the unicorn of club girls. <laughs> Comms are useless. Music's too loud. You know, I talk and I talk and I just don't feel like you listen. That's because you never stop. Hey, dude! Hurry up in there! Good advice. So. 
uh, occupied. <laughs> Sorry. Do not write on any sir. I mean, you think dogs wouldn't be so hard to come by? Hard times, man. Everyone's hurting. Not Lozano, apparently. Nah. I've been with the family for a while. They ain't hurting. Oh I'm my still god. What they used to be. These so are their. Keep paying. How many men are here? You fucking crazy! Yeah, he said the C word. Oh. I'm not going to ask you again. Rooftop's clear. Freddy, where you at, man? <sighs> Shit. Let me guess. Freddy? Six in the next room, two at the entrance, a couple more. I don't know where. Freddy, man, if you don't pick up, there's gonna be problems. Tell your friends you're sick in the bathroom and you'll be there when you can. And make it convincing, yeah? Hey, uh, it's Freddy. I'm sick on the toilet. Uh, eat some bad food out of the storage room. I I'll be there soon. There. We good? Why'd you mention the storage room, Freddy? Ooh. Hey, wh what are you doing? What is... Oh, boy. You really shouldn't have done that. No, wait! What are they? One, two. Ooh. Someone. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did he just shoot that guy in the dick? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <sighs> Advancing! Taking right! Where did Felix McStabby come from? What about the knives? Where is Lozano? Oh, there he is. Dude, your shit's about Please. to get Wait. fucked. Oh God, don't kill me. Calm down. We're taking you alive. What? Seriously? Gabriel Lozano, 
you're wanted for murder, drug trafficking, money laundering, rape, I, I mean, literally the most jailable offenses you could possibly imagine. <laughs> ah! oh! Oh! What are you, cops? No. You're crazy! Don't you know my dad? You can't do this! Christ, you are a stereotype. Fuck you! Who the hell do you think you are? Well, that's Locus, I'm Felix, and we're the good guys. You said comms were useless. I meant downstairs. Useless! That doesn't mean remove your earpiece. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't read that broken fucking brain of yours and suddenly know that you actually meant the opposite of what you fucking said! Hey, Cyrus. Hey? That's all you've got? Hey? Why weren't you on comms? That is entirely his fault. Don't you stop! If you want me out here doing recon, then you need to listen to me when I talk to you. Him, I expected this from, but you... We're supposed to be partners. Partners communicate. <sighs> right. I'm sorry, okay? Now can we please get this asshole in the car and away from the scene? Yeah, let's go. There was three of them? Oh, that's a big ass sniper rifle. I feel like I'm trying to be discreet. That's not a good way to carry it around. Oh. oh. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start with that, okay. <laughs> For one. They have faces? They have faces? They have actual faces? Like, I wasn't sure if they had passed, like, the benchmark for it, because I know at some parts, you know, it's the, the... We've had these characters for so long, why show them their faces? No matter what we'll do, it'll be wrong. But for Felix and Locus, it was like, hey, you know what? It's only been three seasons, let's... And I'm so... Because I've been watching Miles play... I've been watching Miles play Dark Souls, and Sam is the fucking protagonist he's been playing as, and it looks just like that, I swear to God. You should have seen this coming. <sighs> Rooster teeth, why? Why do you do this to me? Oh, uh, that animation was so smooth and it was beautiful and it was. And this could just be because I love Borderlands. I really, really do. This could just be because of that. I'm putting that disclaimer right there. But oh my god, that was amazing. And the banter, and you see them before they became hardened criminals, even before, like, they were the good guys. Very heavy emphasis on the air quotations because they are probably still mercenaries. Like, but they're they're Deadpool esque. They're not Joker esque because Joker wasn't a hero. But you you know what I'm trying to say. I'm I'm like completely blown away. I can't even speak. But that was so well animated. And the transition between the dance scenes and the fighting and those silhouettes with the splotches of color for the tie and the glasses. That was just so. Amazing! I don't even know how to process that properly. I honestly don't even know what to expect for the rest of this short little Red vs. Blue 14 season. This, this, just this, these, this three episode trilogy that they apparently wrapped up like yesterday. I don't even know what to expect. Like... I feel like I need to watch that three more times to fully understand what it is I just saw. I realized I didn't even say anything that whole time. I've reached, I've reverted back to that point where Rooster Teeth animation has been able to astound me completely into silence, which is not surprising. I was at the Ruby panel and they showed something and the entire time I was just sitting there like... So... Uh, I, I'm excited to see what they do next. I'm excited for episode 10 and 11. I want to know what happened to them and what happened to Cyrus. Because there was three of them. But you only know, there are only two on course, so something had to have happened to remove Cyrus from that situation. Maybe he died, maybe they 
ended up having something go wrong and they abandoned him or they had to kill him because he was good they want they needed to do something more or something happened to cyrus that led them to the path that they are currently on now i i'm grasping at straws i don't even have like a solidified idea or a theory at this point which is rare for me if you guys follow me on twitter it's just that was just so well done, and I love the style it was in, and I love that you can see that Felix is this glorified beanpole with an undercut and a bad attitude, and Locus in the C word and trying for control all the time. It's just, and they had to. And Locus covered up the scar. I feel like there's something more significant to that that wasn't just breach. I don't think that was just a disguise because they have the sunglasses, they have the masks. Like, even though that scar is very definitive, it's something that is even continued on when he puts on his armor, which leads me to believe there's something a lot more important about that, something very specific that at first he tries to hide what happened, like maybe what happened originally during the war, and then it came to the point where, no, I'm a soldier, I show my scars, and he eventually uses them to the point of becoming a monster. So maybe that has to do with it. I really don't know. I'm just too pumped about this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry this took a while to get out, but it was definitely worth the wait, at least for me. <laughs> um, in other news, I just got back from RTX. I actually got back in on Monday about mid-afternoon. I was so tired. I slept for 12 hours, and I usually sleep 4 to 5 hours a night. So that was something I, I haven't unpacked. I've barely done anything since then. I've been trying to catch up on work and messages I've missed and, like, 800 programs I need to work on. Um, it was really a surreal experience. It was my first RTX. I realize people say that it always seems to go up from there, that your second RTX and your third RTX just improve exponentially, but I genuinely don't know how that could happen based on the experience that I had. And I'm going to have a whole video that's probably just me vlogging about it, and then Emily and I, are, we, we took a lot of video during the con to splice together into one very quick wrap-up, and then we're going to go into our individual experiences, because we did go to a lot of different panels, just because... I am the animation nerd, and Emily is like, hello, I'm here to talk to you about normal boots. Which I love normal boots, by the way. Gerard gives the best hugs ever. Ever. But it was it was great. I met so many amazing people. It was a surreal experience, and I really hope I can go back again next year. Um, I actually ended up getting my Pura Shield signed by Jen Brown and some of the animators. I got it signed by Issa and Kim and Harley, and it was just... I'm going to just cherish this forever, and hopefully next year at RTX I can get it signed by Miles and Carrie. But it was just, RTX was amazing, and this video was amazing, and I now understand why why Miles and Gray were dressed up as Felix and Locust for the red versus blue panel. I didn't go to it because I didn't have time, but I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> that was just... It was so well done. If anyone from the RT animation team was watching this, thank you so much for all of your effort. It definitely paid off. That was amazing and gorgeous. And I'm probably going to watch it five more times before I go do anything else today. So, <laughs> sorry again for the day delayed reaction videos. I'm going to start pumping them out regularly again very, very soon, which means like a massive compilation reaction to Camp Camp. Same with Ruby Chibi, although I've seen next week's Ruby Chibi episode, so I won't react to that because I saw that on the Ruby panel. But I will have some words about it because I'm so happy. Let me, I'm just going to say bisexual voice confirmed. <laughs> so just, uh, and I want to do a quick thank you for all of you guys who were at RTX who took the time to talk to me. It was really, really nice to meet all of you. I got to meet Arnold, who's Murder of Birds. I got to meet Portal 64. And I got to meet the actual Agent Carolina and the host of After Buzz. And it was just a very surreal experience. And I'm running out of things to say, but I feel like I need to say more. But I'm going to be catching up on videos. There are going to be a lot more off-scab videos. I'm actually going over to Emily's to record right after this. I'm going to be streaming more regularly, and I'm going to be filming a lot more cosplay work because with the new Ruby designs <laughs> comes a new form of Con Crunch. And this form of Con Crunch is called Aaron Has No Self-Control. <laughs> I got off the plane from Austin, immediately went to the fabric store, and started Blake's trench coat as soon as I got home. That's actually drying from being dyed right now. That's why I'm taking the time to make this video in the first place. But I'm it's running long. I'm running towards 20 minutes right now. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. And we're nearing 300 subscribers, which is really crazy to think about. Because this channel started like the last day of December. I posted a crappy AMV on December 31st. And it's July 7th. 
and we're nearing 300 subscribers and there's people who are actively talking in the comments and who respond to our tweets and it's really a surreal experience. It's a very nice community that I'm glad I'm able to be a part of. So thank you all so much for that as well. And I'm hoping we can, we may be doing a special video in the next couple weeks that is just like one jumbo, like 12 hour stream or something like that for a Voltron birthday thing because it's my birthday soon, which I'm still bitter about it not being over RTX. But oh, I'm, I'm, running, I'm out of things today, but that was an amazing episode. I can't wait to see what comes next. And thank you guys all so much. And I will hopefully see you in the comments or on Twitter or on Facebook or just generally across the internet. So I hope you guys have a good day. And if you were at RTX, good luck recovering your sleep schedule and eating something that isn't top ramen and pizza. That's all I have.